Gymnastics and I'm continuing this let's play of Nest Effect. Uh, the reason for that is I'm a bit stuck with my uh, let's play of Bloodborne. I can't get past a certain boss so and it gets really frustrating so I must play something else before I lose my mind. Resume. It uh, is a very long time since I've played this. But I remember I... I think I went for the... Um, not the Paragon, the, the other one, the squad, the Renegade, that was it, is so, uh, that's really a, a Renegade face, isn't it? scar on the nose broad nose brushy eyebrows um I am a soldier all right I'm playing on veteran the difficulty that is almost the most difficult uh, setting. Uh, let's see what quests need to be doing. Assignments first. Okay, the fan. Oh, I remember this. What harm could there be in talking with him? Everything. Citadel Presidium Prophet. You have spoken with both the Hennar and the CSF officer in the Presidium, but you still need to either get rid of the Hennar or convince the CSEC officer to back off. Citadel scan keepers Chorben, a Salarian scientist, has discovered a way to scan the keepers. But the citadel authorities do not like people disturbing the insects like creatures. You offered to help Chorben and he gave you his scanning device. Each time you scan a keeper, the data will be sent to him automatically. Yes, I remember this quest also. It's a pain in the butt if you have one, one keeper left and you don't know which one you have missed in, and in what area unusual readings the Argus row cluster uh, I think I yeah I said I would go for the, the renegade in this playthrough but now I kind of changed my mind I want to play as as I normally play, so sometimes choosing Renegade and sometimes choosing Paragon, just when the, the situation demands for me to, to react a certain way, how I would normally react. So, um, these quests I have already done. Not many, for I, I remember I was just starting, so Ooh. expose Saren, Garrus, another lift. Saren would already be in 
custody if you'd gone straight to the council with your information. A lone quarian with no credentials? The council would laugh me out of the chambers. That is, if Saren hadn't killed me by then. Or not. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. So you'll do nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this.
Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus, Spectre training, charm, and intimidate talents unlocked. Yay! So what now? We still need Gareth. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. <laughs> How do you know about that? I I mean... <sighs> Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers. I will get some answers. I hope he's okay. Hello. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. 
It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Those are both bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. A royal. <laughs> What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. And every Salarian and Henar, Alcor. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. But of course, they say the same about us that we look the same. So, is that Garrus? It would be yes. That's fortunate. Congratulations, Shepard. Heard they made you a specter. I'm glad somebody got the council to see Saren for what he really is. Thanks. I appreciate that, Garrus. I resigned from CSEC after the Council ignored my investigation. I was sick of all the politics. You're the only one who seems to be doing anything about Saren. Let me come with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't prove it in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You won't regret this, Shepard. Yes. But I want to keep uh, uh, a tally and Rex. So, uh, sorry, Garrus. Combat strength. Oops. 